From ancient times we have a concept that the Earth gets light and energy from the Sun. It's true that the Sun is the cause of life's existence. Without it, the whole planet would freeze to death. Ancient humans used to think that our Sun is the only Sun in the universe, but eventually things got a new turn, and we came to know that various other Suns also exist in the universe. Space agencies used to observe the Sun as the researchers are keen to know every detail of the outer and inner surfaces. Special instruments are used to peer inside the Sun. Measuring a day on Sun is complicated due to its rotation. As we know, Sun is made of super hot gas plasma that rotates at different speeds in different parts of the Sun. The Sun completes a rotation at the equator in 25 days, increasing to 36 days at the poles. Regarding energy, huge celestial bodies made of helium and hydrogen produce high energy from the churning nuclear forces inside their cores. If one could harness that energy successfully, they would upgrade a civilization from Type 1 to Type 3 on the Kardashev scale. We are still underutilizing the massive energy as no civilization on Earth has upgraded from Type 1. Earth absorbs 3.85 million exajoules of energy in a year. Thus, the energy that hits the Earth in an hour is sufficient to power the whole world for a year. We have to work a lot to make ourselves able to harvest all the solar energy that reaches Earth. Nature is designed so that every living organism tries to harvest energy from the nearest possible source. This rule makes us think that the advanced alien civilization traveling through the cosmos will also stop near the sun to regain their energy before heading to any other destination. All this might be science fiction, but in today's video we will make you aware of the bizarre stuff that has been seen near the sun. This bizarre stuff includes some most imp incidents. One is the sighting of a UFO near the sun during the live transmission of NASA and the other is the sudden hijacking of a solar observatory by the FBI. Sudden hijacking of a solar observatory by the FBI. Back in 1947, some flying objects caught the attention of masses in Roswell, New Mexico, and there arose theories that they could be aliens flying over space. White-colored objects were observed flying past the trees and mountains. Sunspot Solar Observatory designed a solar telescope to study the activities around the Sun. Now, come with us on September 6, 2018. It was the day Black Hawk helicopters were sent on a secret mission, and they passed over the Lincoln Forest of New Mexico on their way. Their target was the observatory launched by NASA, and as soon as they reached it, the observatory stopped working. Soon after, some agents arrived in vehicles and evacuated the place. The people asked to move were given no information, and even the sheriff and local police had no idea what happened that day. After just 11 days, things got back to normal, and the FBI issued a public statement that they were facilitating the janitors for possessing and distributing pornography. People think that it was just a cover story. If that was a cover-up story, what unusual could have caused them to do so? They could have closed the observatory to prevent any unusual happening at the time. People also started saying that NASA observed the shrinkage in the size of the Sun. If it could ever happen, it would be the end of the Sun. The end of the Sun is a giant red ball capable of swallowing Earth. Follow-up observations for the next years showed that nothing happened to the Sun and it was fine. What could be the reason then? For the FBI to go to a certain location suddenly and shut it down without any reason and then open it without making any arrests is beyond our thinking. People started saying that it was to hide something unusual that had happened. UFO near the sun. Let's look at UFO sightings around the sun that were recorded often. Solar Terrestrial Relation Observatory, Stereo, launched in 2006 was successful enough to build a revolutionary view of the Sun-Earth system. The observatory traced the total flow of energy and matter between the Sun and Earth. It made us capable of keeping an eye on our planet while orbiting at 95 miles higher. UV and X-ray light was used during the mission. Things got interesting when on March 13, 2020, 
This observatory made of two telescopes detected an imposter between Earth and Sun. That unidentified object looked similar to the wheel with spokes when observed in slow motion, and the movement was like that is sent to launch or extract something on the Sun. The whole process was compared to the spacecraft fueling itself. The object was bigger than Jupiter, and such huge objects are considered to have gravity. All the observations showed that it was a spacecraft, not any solar flare or plasma discharge. What do you think of this moving wheel? The wheel-like appearance of an object was due to the bouncing effect of light that creates the ghost image. You can name it an optical illusion, as it looked more real than any well-shaped spacecraft. A black cube. Are you familiar with the footage released by NASA's Solar and Heliosphere Observatory on May 5, 2022? When this footage was captured on camera, NASA's space mission cut the live stream abruptly. Some conspiracy theories arose that it is a black cube, but the familiar ones think of it as a large solar flare capable of gobbling the whole Earth. Talk of the town was the solid object's appearance and why the live stream ended then. Was that a technical glitch? Or didn't they want us to see that unknown object? Some people claimed it could be a nearby Chinese space station or a meteor. Streetcar One took to a YouTube page and said that the unidentified object could be a meteor. The only thing that made it interesting was the cut down of live streaming when it came in front of the camera. But NASA didn't give any fair explanation of the whole incident. An unusual comet. An unusual comet skimmed past the Sun as captured by the European Space Agency ESA and NASA's Solar and Heliosphere Observatory or SOHO. On February 18, 2015, the European Space Agency ESA and NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO observed an unusual comet skimming past the Sun. It was interesting for two strange reasons. First, it didn't show any similarity to any known group of comets, as most of them are part of a single giant comet that broke centuries ago, forming a million smaller comets. The second major difference was that this comet passed through the Sun without getting destroyed. All the previous comets used to evaporate in the intense sunlight, but this one covered approximately 2.2 million miles of the Sun's trip, Carl Bantams, a solar scientist at the Naval Research Lab in Washington, D.C., says that the comet's survival has increased the chances that it may be seen by the people on land somewhere in the future if it will be capable of surviving all the unusual events of the solar system. This was an unusual discovery by SOHO, but on average, SOHO is known to have a high number of comet discoveries on its record. Bizarre objects around the Sun are increasing eventually, and NASA claims they are just solar flares, plasma discharges or some comets. There is a list of unknown phenomena around us, and we need to get a real clue about them. They might be aliens paying a visit to us, but why are they not showing themselves and creating many mysteries? Are they scared of us, or what could be the reason behind it? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Stay connected as we have to explore the realities together. We are thankful to our subscribers for their continuous support, but if you are a newbie to this channel, consider subscribing to it, as we will bring you more amazing content in the future.